Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and we today we will be doing a Top 10 ba Clone Battle Packs video. Uh, these are all officially LEGO released based off of Brickset, all the Clone Battle Packs, they have that have clones in them, essentially. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Everything is greatly appreciated. We're going for 5,000 subscribers, so if you could help us reach that milestone, that would be huge for me, and I would be forever grateful. And also, make sure to check out my sponsor, One Stead One. He has a brand new ARC 170. It looks fantastic, and it's going for a really reasonable price compared to what some other ones are going for. And also, check out all this other stuff. But yeah, with that said, let's get into it. So, the worst clone battle pack by a mile is, you guessed it, Set 75206, the Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Coming out at $14.99 with 102 pieces, this 2018 set is by far the worst. This is due mainly to the inclusion of two undesirable characters, be, that being Barris Afi and Kiadi Mundi. I have at least six of each of them, or I've had, I've sold them for like 10 cents each. And they're it's just awful. The two clones are fine. They're okay. I use I like the torsos and everything. I'm a phase two guy. And the build is on the lower end of battle packs, but that seems to be where we're trending with Lego Star Wars right now. Um, but the set definitely by far earned the top or the lowest 10 spot because it is just that bad. Moving on to number nine is the Clone Troopers versus Droidica battle pack. This is an Absolutely awful set. Set 75000, the Kickstarter of the 7,500 sets. The Clone Troopers vs. Droidicus with 124 pieces, two figures, was such a disappointment, and I am ashamed to even be calling it a battle pack. While the two clones themselves are nice, we were scammed out of two figures. And we got two Droidica bills, which aren't even considered by LEGO standard uh, figures, because LEGO will consider astromech droids or certain types of droid builds or B2 Super Battle Droids as figures, but they won't classify like a droidica in the figures thing. And the clones are fine. We got a clone sergeant and a phase one clone trooper. But other than that, it is just absolutely awful. We also got a pretty cool build that I'm personally actually a fan of, but I completely would get why someone would get annoyed after getting more than two or three of them. Um, and they're definitely not for army building in the slightest. Moving on from that, we have, at number 8, we have the set 75089, the Geonosis Trooper Battle Pack. Uh, coming out in 2015, in January, this battle pack came with 105 pieces and retailed for $12.99. I do not like this set from the figures to the walker. Well, they, they, they look pretty cool, I'll give them that, and they but they resemble nothing we've seen in Star Wars. It comes with a plain Phase 2 and Airborne Trooper, with a, not plain Phase 2, but it comes with a Phase 2 and Airborne Trooper with the Geonosis camo. And I think I'll give one credit for one thing, which would be them giving them belt printing. They have, like, uh, I don't know the exact piece, but the belt printing I think I would give a lot of credit for because we don't usually get that on clones. It needs to happen more. Um, but the build is just atrocious. It's bulky. It has... Um, a massively oversized cannon. Like, I get it's a battle pack, but it is just disgusting looking. Like, you couldn't even use that in anything. It just is, looks awful. Um, and I feel the builds for, and this is what kicked off the bad builds for battle pack streak. But recently, we have gotten a good build um, in the so, one of the solo sets, which I think is the best battle pack build. But that's, I'll save that for a later date. Um, at number seven, we have a set I didn't even know was considered a battle pack until recently. Uh, but according to Brickopedia, it is, so I'm going to go with it. This would be set 75037, The Battle of Seleucami. Coming out in 2014 at $19.99, to this date the most expensive battle pack, with 178 pieces, this set featured two B1 battle droids, two B2 battle droids, as well as a bark trooper, who looks very nice, uh, a bark speeder, a staff, and a battle-worn defense build. Even though I would barely consider this a battle pack. I still think it has decent builds and lacks at least one extra figure. I think if they took out maybe at least maybe one of the builds or if they took out uh, a battle droid or two or 
it, not a battle droid or two, but a battle droid in place of another clone or some Jedi or something or just to be in there. Um, and that is definitely why it has earned the number seven spot. At number six, we have the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. At number six, we have set seven, not nine, one, three, the Clone Trooper Battle Pack coming out in January 2011 with 85 pieces and retailing at $11.99. The Clone Trooper Battle Pack has a very complicated hatred from me. This is mainly because of a certain figure from the figure selection. The figures I, I like are amazing, are, th that are amazing are the Horn Company Trooper, officially dubbed the Clone Commander, according to Brickset, as well as the Horn Company ARF Trooper, which um, has a plane everything except for the, new, the helmet. The speeder build is amazing and definitely one of the best up there in battle packs. And the problem I have is Bomb Squad Troopers, of course. Words cannot describe how much I dislike the Bomb Squad Troopers, and I don't know why. Um, it's not that they look awful, it's just you end up with too many of them. They are a specialized unit. It's like if you got two billion Delta Squad members. Like, sure, you could have like four of them, but if you get like a bunch of... Grant, they're not named, but you only ever see like four of them in the whole show. So I think having an army of them and them having to bulk up your army looking ugly and never being used is just awful, and they're a sore eye on an army. Um, and that's why this set is definitely at number six. It's an okay set, and it does have four figure clone troopers, but it just did not make the top ten or the top five for me. Moving into the top five, we have, I believe, the most controversial pick will be set nine four eight eight, the Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack, released back in two thousand twelve for twelve ninety nine with I wrote nine hundred eighty eight pieces, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Uh, but it got a lot of pieces. The Elite Clone Troopers and Commando Droid Battle Pack came with two tr clone troopers and two commander droids. Well, usually droids, I'm not a huge fan of and they're not desirable. Um, these definitely work because they're commander droids. As for the clones, we possibly got the best looking clone trooper minifigure ever. That's right up there with Commander Gree. I believe he is my num number two t pick in my top 10 clones video, Lego clones video. The advanced recon commando, AKA arc trooper, is the most, has the most amazing leg printing, foot printing, he was one of the first to get leg printing, um, as well as the maroon capes, and it all also came with an advanced recon force, aka ARF Trooper, which is a member of Rancor Battalion. This build was an artillery cannon that was a miniature of an AV-7, so it like kind of resembles one, but it isn't one. And it may have only have two clones, but the ARF Trooper is definitely picks up the slack. Moving on to number four, we have the Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Lots of the same name, it gets very repetitive. Number four, we have one of the very first ever battle packs in existence. I, it's probably one of, it is one of the first along the Battle Droid one. Being set 7654, 7654, coming out in 2007 for $9.99, just $10 and 58 pieces, the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. This is a revolutionary set. And nothing like it has come out since. It has featured two Episode 2 Clone Troopers, a Shock Trooper, uh, and a Star Corp Trooper. It also comes with a Speeder and Defense Tower. Well, as set is not revolutionary, and maybe the closest thing we get to Solibrick Studios' proposed Ultimate Clone Troopers Battle Pack, it has definitely not aged well, and I'm not going off of how well it's aged, I'm just going off of the best by far an objective standpoint. And it is an extremely good set and worthy of recognition in the number four spot in the archives. Moving on to number three is the classic army builder that started all the armies and a whole generation. Set 7808014, the Clone Walker Battle Pack, released in January 2009 with 72 pieces and retailing at $11.99. The Clone Walker Battle Pack started a generation of clone armies and Sharpie clones. Gotta hate those Sharpie clones. The set came with two different figures, one of them being a clone gunner and the other being the clone troopers. One of them could also be customized to a commander with some special uh, black pauldrons and commas uh, labeled on brick set, clone commander. And we got these iconic, this iconic custom clone walker, not from the movies, but Lego's own custom design that has become iconic and even, I believe, is a part of the, uh, some Star Wars mobile games now. Um, I don't know if it was from concept art or whatever, but yeah. And 
It could basically see two troopers, and this set is truly amazing, but sadly, it has been surpassed. But it will always have a special place in our hearts at number three. At number two, I believe another somewhat controversial pick is set 75035, the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack. Released back in January 2014 at 1299 in 99 pieces, just one short of 100, the Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack came with two types of troopers, namely the two 41st Elite Corps Troopers and two Kashyyyk Clone Troopers. Now, at the time, the Kashyyyk Clone Troopers were considered non-canon, but recently in Battlefront 2, they were made as skins. Uh, all co all co and all cosmetic items in the game are canon. This has just been based off of my personal interpretation. That's what they said. And now they are canon, so that was the main complaint back then, and I would have had it lower if they never were made canon, but now that they are, hey. Um, it also came with one of the best builds, in my opinion, for a battle pack, that being the Swamp Speeder, which is absolutely magnificent looking, as well as the figures looking amazing. This set definitely deserves the number two spot, also with those beautiful Kashyyyk Troopers. Now, for an honorable mention, we have the Senate Commandos Battle Pack. While the figures are nice, I didn't want to put it up there due to the high debate of it being clones or not. And it's a cool set, but I'm just not putting it there, not because of the quality of it or anything, but um, it's just a lot of controversy around them being considered clones or not. Um, Okay, at number one, we have the set you've all been waiting for. I think this is the most obvious pick for the best Clone Trooper Battle Pack ever. Uh, this it would be the Utapau Troopers Battle Pack, released back in January 2014 at 12.99, set 75036. The Utapau Trooper Battle Pack came with two variants of Clone Troopers, namely the two two beautiful looking 212 Troopers and two labeled on brick set clone paratroopers aka airborne troopers um this set is just beautiful the build was a miniature separatist tri-droid with posable legs flick fire missiles and a kind of round area at the top and this is definitely the best due to the amazing detailing and beautiful selection of troopers we got that are all useful and loved from the movies and it is they are still some of the best clones on the market today, even with the 501st Battle Pack. Well, Battle Pack, we're not calling it that. Uh, it's not officially that. Uh, on the market. And it's Lego's first inter interpretation of the 212 Trooper. It took them that long to do that, shockingly. And the details on the figures are truly amazing. The capes on the Airborne Troopers are just superb. And that is why I think it deserves the number one spot. Now, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It was a lot of work to make, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys all press that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Um, we're gunning for 5,000, and that would just be a huge help. And yeah. So make sure to stay tuned for more videos, and I will see you all in the next one. Check out Jonak Toys and One Stuff.